Okay, I'm going to do a draft test on these appliances. Got a natural gas furnace. It's a fan induced and a natural draft, uh, natural gas water heater. So they use room air for combustion. They take the air inside the room, uh, burn it, burn the oxygen, and, and exhaust it out through the pipe. Um, new higher efficiency furnaces have an actual intake to pull fresh air in from the outside. And that's what I always recommend. Um, even if you have a natural gas water heater, it's good to have a fresh air intake, but put an insulated duct coming into the room to bring fresh air for combustion. Um, so if you look at this room, it's, it's an enclosed room with a door. There is a little um, vent up there that goes to the rest of the house. But I just have a uh, suspicion that there is a back drafting occurring on this water heater. You can see um, the, the cover plates or the melt, plastics melted and the foam here is, is getting a little melted. So this relies on um, you know stack effect, cold air getting sucked through the hood and as it warms up it goes outside and it really needs um, the right pressure and, and cold air return in this room to work properly. So to do a test like this I turn on, close all the windows and doors, turn on all the exhaust fans in the house and the dryer. So that's worst case scenario of every appliance exhausting out um, the house air and it, which creates a negative pressure in the house. So all these appliances in your house are exhausting out air and they need a, some way to bring back air back into them. So they'll go through cracks in the, in the foundation and holes in the windows and around the windows and whatnot. So um, really this room should have a, a fresh air intake for the water heater um, and I'll show you a little test. Okay, just turned on the furnace. It's a fan and do so it's taking room air igniting it, going through the heat exchanger and getting exhausted out through the fan here. Um, and I'm going to turn on the water heater. Okay, so we got everything exhausting outside. Let's, oh, I can feel it. See how the camera's actually fogging up because of the condensation coming back in, into the house. So that's actually, that's actually um, exhaust from the water heater coming back inside the house through the, through the fan hood here. Okay, so we definitely had some backdrafting of the water heater upon ignition. So. When these vents are cold, that's when the draft is hard, it's harder for the draft to go through the pipes. They, the hotter they get, the more draft there is up through the flue. So once these heated up, it's not back drafting anymore. Another trick that I have here, since I don't have my smoke kit, is um, I'll put up a mirror right up next to the water heater draft hood and it'll fog up with condensation and that'll... So what did we learn here? Well, it's not very often that all these things would be running at the same time. Water heater, furnace, dryer, all the bathroom exhaust fans, and all the windows are closed. But it does happen, and it has actually started to scorch, you know, and uh, burn these plastic rings. So, um, you know, what can happen? Well, carbon monoxide can actually come back in the house, which is poisonous, of course. It could possibly start a fire, you know, it could melt these plastic rings and melt the foam, who knows? Um, so, you know, not a good thing to fix and I just wanted to give you a closer uh, shot here of the plastic rings and the, the foam a little melted. It's not extreme, I've seen worse but um, you know something that should be fixed and I actually have, I, I, it's kind of weird but I have a keen sense of carbon monoxide and, and combustion byproducts and I've heard other inspectors say that too that the more you're exposed to it the more sensitive you are to it and I, I can I can sense it and smell it and I I got actually got a little headache from it. So um, you know, it probably doesn't happen that often, but it's it's not a safe safe condition, so